Fred, welcome. Good to have you with us. I, I just want to get your general take on on what we've heard from uh, Jake Sullivan and out of the White House in just the past hour. But I'm going to begin with this. Uh, Mr. Sullivan saying the West is now more united than it has been in years. Do you see it that way? Is that what your sources and associates feel? Well, it really depends. More united to do what? Uh, more united to respond with sanctions uh, after an incursion or invasion, I think that's right. More united to move more troops forward to, um, uh, to countries, NATO countries bordering on Ukraine, I think that's right. Actual useful defense and uh, uh, support for Ukrainian forces, more military uh, intelligence has gone in, more equipment has gone in. But but I don't think anything that would uh, either roll back or, or change Putin's calculus. Uh, we hear that Putin is likely to go into Ukraine this weekend. Uh, the new intelligence uh, that has come to the U.S. was that of Putin making a, making the call to go on um, uh, uh, to his military. Uh, he probably has three options, a mix of cyber and power cuts. He might just try to take out the Ukraine leadership at a lightning strike, or he might go all in. We don't know. This is really up to Putin. Mm -hmm. The one thing that is clear is that President Biden will be making the most consequential decisions of not just his presidency, but his career in the next week. And, and uh, I think this is really a test not just of uh, Biden, but of the administration and our allies. So, Sullivan, uh, just to just uh, I, you, you said that, that the, the reports are that, that Putin has made up his mind and has begun to com communicate uh, his decision down the chain of command. Sullivan at the White House said that, that does not, uh, is not what we are understanding internally. So he made a slight, uh, slight difference of opinion there. Uh, nevertheless, it looks like the level of urgency quite clearly has risen very, very dramatically. But you see there is, if, if Putin makes moves, both cyber warfare, uh, um, moving against the infrastructure, uh, electric grid and so forth, uh, and then begins, uh, as Sullivan said, potentially with a bombing and missile attacks followed by a ground attack, there is really n nobody else who's going to step in and help Ukraine but Ukraine and its forces, correct? Uh, as far as I can tell, that's right. And on the issue of the intelligence, let me be clear, this is being reported, and, and, right. and a PDS reporter broke the news. I don't have confirmation of it. Uh, but it seemed to be well sourced. Certainly the movement of troops has alarmed everyone that it, that it is moved up to days. We, we all thought that this would happen. Uh, if it happened, we thought it would happen at the end of uh, the Olympics, February 20th, where mm -hmm. the ground was still frozen. The Belarus military exercises were still a mask for invasion. But it looks like things have been sped up. But, yes, I, uh, the answer to your question I don't. U Ukraine is going to get indirect help. Turkish drones are, right. are helping it. Uh, it's indirect help by more uh, more military support is coming recently from from the British and others. Uh, but actual help on the ground with non-Ukrainian troops on the ground or non-Ukrainian help from the outside, I, I don't. We don't see that happening.